welcome to the Pretoria Arms Channel. What we're going to show you today is uh, an easy and cost-effective method of annealing your cars. It has occurred to us that there's a lot of reloaders out there who do not necessarily know the importance of uh, annealing brass and uh, today we're going to show you and also tell you how important it is to anneal your brass. Uh, you know, it, it, it adds to ultra long lifetime of your brass, uh, it keeps those extreme spread and SD numbers down in the single figures and it also uh, ensures great accuracy and consistency. Okay, uh, let's quickly go through the stuff you'll need to be able to do this. First of all, we need uh, a brazing torch. Uh, this you get at any local hardware shop or at us uh, in Pretoria Arms. Uh, a tin of butane gas to run the brazing torch with. I've got the, uh, the Tempilac. We're using the 246 degrees Celsius temp Tempilac. You need some kind of a tin or a bucket or a tub where you can put your hot brass into or a tub of water to quench your brass with if you prefer that method. Uh, we're using a normal cordless drill that you can find in any, any hardware store. And also we're using the Sudam, Sudami annealing cup that uh, is right for the specific caliber. This one in this, in this case is for the 308 family. We're going to anneal some 306 brass today with it. And also we got uh, uh, the interval timer app that you can download from your app store or, uh, or any, any uh, uh, app will play store. Uh, we'll show you exactly how to download this app and how, how, how it works in a moment. Okay guys, so uh, what you're going to do now, we're going to apply the template to, to the case uh, just underneath the, the case shoulder, being right about there. We're just going to put a tag of Tempilac so that we can determine the amount of time that we're going to use for the bars to be properly annealed. Guys, so uh, we went ahead and fired up our torch here. Uh, we got our case that we just applied some Tempilac on. Uh, we're going to now uh, time the amount of time uh, for the Tempilac to, to, to discolor. Um, I'm going to time that on a stopwatch I'll put right in front of me. So we're going to put the, the case of the mouth right in the point of the inside blue flame there. So let's go ahead and do that. You will see the template change color as soon as it's a new. So we'll start the stopwatch. I can see that uh, that the Tempilac changed color right at eight and a half seconds. So I'm going to assume that uh, nine seconds will be uh, on the on the dot for this batch of brass. So while I've got my torch running there, the back side, I'm going to quickly uh, set my app. I've got five cases here to emil. I'm going to put the sets on five. I've determined that our working interval is going to be on 9 seconds, so I've set that and I'm going to put the rest interval of about 6 seconds in between. So let's go ahead and use some cases. Hey guys, so what we're going to do now, we've got our, our interval app already set up. Uh, we're going to now go and uh, press the play button, that's going to start my interval timer. And then we're going to go with the case mouth into the flame. So there's the first countdown. Two, one, in the flame. You also see that I keep my the angle a bit more than Then 90 degrees. I don't want the direct heat to go in directly into the case now. Um, into the okay. There we go. Finished. So there we go, guys. Uh, we've just annealed this batch of brass in a very easy and cost-effective method. Uh, thanks for watching and happy shooting!